we will derive expression for continuity equation. So we'll start. Continuity equation derivation in the form of Cartesian coordinate. It means x, y, and z axis. Okay, it is also called mass conservation equation. So for the derivation purpose of the continuity equation or the mass conservation equation, here the name suggests the mass conservation, it means mass flow inside this phase ABCD and mass exit at, the, at this phase EFGH and in the similarly Y and Z direction of the different phases inlet and outlet conditions. So for that purpose we can assume or consider fluid element consider fluid element consider fluid element of length dx dy and dz in the direction of in the direction of x y Z respectively. And also let us assume that U, V, W are the velocities in X, Y and Z direction. Velocities in X, Y and Z direction. So mass of fluid entering the phase ABCD it means This is the ABCD phase ABCD and the mass of not leaving this phase EFGH. Okay, so you can see that this is the inlet, this is the outlet in X direction, same way this is the inlet in Y, outlet in Y, same inlet in Z, and outlet in Z direction. Okay, so we can apply this mass of fluid which is entering in the phase AB here the C is there, A, B, C, D test and leaving the test E, F, G, F. So, write down the equation in the form of mass flow rate in the x direction, inlet condition and outlet condition. So, you can here write, write it down, mass of fluid entering in x direction, A, B, C, D phase is equal to denoted by small m is equal to density into velocity of fluid in x direction multiply by area of phase ABCD. So you can write down the equation rho into velocity in x direction it means u here given u is in x direction multiplied by area of abcd phase this phase area is nothing but it is this this lens is dz and this is dy so dy dz so we can get rho u dy dz entry of mass in the phase ABCD. Likewise, leave the mass in x direction but phase is EF GA. This is the exit condition. It is nothing but it is a is the exit condition. Okay? You can see that is the exit condition here. Okay? So, similarly we can write this equation for the exit is nothing but rho u dy dz plus the change in the mass del del x x inlet into dx it means rho u dy dz 
प्लस डेल डेल एक्स रो यू डिवाइड डी जेड इनटू डी एक्स हियर इस नथिंग बट इट इस एम इनलेट कंडीशन ओके इस नथिंग बट इट इस कॉल एम इनलेट एट एक्स ए बी सी डी नाउ नेट गेन मास इन एक्स डायरेक्शन नेट गेन मास इन एक्स डायरेक्शन यू कैन राइट इट डाउन इक्वेशन ऑफ द नेट मास नेट गेन मास इन एक्स डायरेक्शन इस नथिंग बट एमएक्स एट फेस एबीसीडी मींस इनलेट माइनस मास पर एट एक्स इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एट फेस ईएफ जीएफ it is out it is nothing but it is called inlet it is called out that is already derived okay so simplification we can do it and we can get the right answers because we can write down the equation and we can neglect this term rho u dy dz is both the same so we can write it down final answer like that rho u dy dz minus bracket rho u dy dz plus del del x plus del del x rho u dy dz multiply by x bracket over so these both term are same so it is neglected so minus del del x rho u dy dz dx it is net gain of mass in x dx so we can write the equation minus del by del x rho u dx dy dz equation number 1 similarly we can write the equation in the y and z direction net mass for it in y direction we can change the direction so del by minus del by del y rho u instead of u we can write down the v because in the y direction the velocity is v dx dy dz it is a y direction velocity now similarly net gain in z direction m dot z is nothing but minus del by del z rho w dx dy dz it means there is a z direction velocity now equating these three equations or the equation name is mass conservation equation it means there is a mass is conserved but it changed from one form to another form so we can it is called equation number 2 it is called equation number 3 now further modifying this equation so we can get answer like like that since conservation equation it, it is nothing but the mass is neither created nor destroyed but in the fluid element the net increase of mass per unit time in the fluid element must be equal to the rate of increase of the mass of fluid element it means there is a rate of change of mass of fluid element is equal to is nothing but so it is the conservation of mass is nothing but the equating this three equation 1 2 and 3 summation of this equation 1 2 and 3 we can get minus del by del x rho u plus del by del y equation 1 2 and 
3 simplify like that rho v plus del by del z rho w bracket over dx dy dz is equal to this is the important term for us these three equations summation is conserved in the different form but it is not destroyed and created inside this fluid element so we can get the rate of change of mass with respect to time the del m by del t so here m is nothing but density into volume del rho by del t volume is nothing but dx dy m dz it is rho into volume density into volume it is called volume of element and it is nothing but density of fluid okay so del rho by del t dx dy dz so both side the right and left, left hand side dx dy dz is common or dx dy dz is neglecting so we can get the equation like that del rho by del t this left hand side comes is converting to right hand side so this negative sign is removing in the positive term del rho by del t plus del del x rho u plus del del y rho v plus del del z rho w okay is equal to zero this is called the continuity equation in cartesian cartesian coordinate Now we can further modify this equation for the steady flow. So this is nothing but for the unsteady flow. For the steady flow, we can neglect this term. So del rho by del t is equal to zero for steady flow. So we can write down the modified equation for the steady flow. Del del x rho u plus del del y rho v plus del del z rho w is equal to 0 it is called the steady flow Cartesian coordinate continuity equation ok now further modifying for the incompressible flow so density is constant throughout this fluid element so we can get the equation density is common throughout the del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z bracket over density is constant is equal to zero so we can get del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to 0 it is called steady and incompressible fluid flow continuity equation it is generalized equation it is used many times Okay, and it is for the three dimension flow. It is for the three dimensional. Now we can write the equation in the form of two D flow. So we can neglect in the Z term for the two D flow. So del u by 
del x plus del y by del y is equal to 0 is a continuous equation for the steady and incompressible flow in two dimension. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical video then please subscribe our Techno Education Academy and also share with your friends.